Welcome to Commodore Countdown. I'm Alexa Galloway here at Varun Raghupathi. The Falmouth Commodores are facing the Bourne Braves today. And last night, the Commodores faced the Warren Gateman and lost 4-0. to Now, the Commodores won a three-game winning streak, Varun. What went wrong? Well, they ran into a really good pitcher who finally put everything together. Kyle Cody's a 6'7", 245-pound tosser from Kentucky. He went seven strong innings and struck out six Falmouth batters. So before that, he had gone and combined four and a third innings through two appearances. He finally started putting his fastball with his off speed. Falmouth just ran into him at the wrong time. Now, the last time that Falmouth the Commodores were shut out was actually against the Bourne Braves. Isn't that right? That's right. And Andrew Sapka, who is tonight's starter for the Braves, was on the mound in that game. And another guy who had a really good start against Falmouth. Six innings for Sapka from Gonzaga and six strikeouts. So he's another guy that Falmouth has had trouble with this year. And if the good pitching continues against Falmouth, we could see this winning streak turn into another losing streak for the Commodores. Now, Falmouth's starting pitcher is Jared Price from Maryland. What's he going to do tonight? Well, this is his second start, and the first time around he pitched in a doubleheader against Harwich, so it was more of a look to see that the entire staff could go against the Mariners, but he starts in his first nine-inning game tonight, and it's another chance for Falmouth to see if it can put a good starter behind Matt Hall, Kevin McKenna, Casey Mulholland, and Ryan Mosley, who went last night, so it's a big start for the big righty for Maryland, and the experience helps because he played for Falmouth last year in the bullpen. Now, Varun, there was a recent article in the Boston Globe that talked about the Cape Cod Baseball League, and one of the things it mentioned was that it's known as a great equalizer, where players come here, they do really well at school, and then they come here and not do so well. What do you think of that? Well, it's not necessarily all about stats when it comes to collegiate wood bat baseball. It's more about what stuff you have, especially if you are a pitcher. I talked to a scout yesterday by the name of Frankie Polari from Perfect Game, and he said that it's a mixture of both. If you have good stuff and the scouts see that, even if your outing isn't great, then you can still get scouted and drafted pretty high. You take a look at Ryan. Mosley, who pitched for Falmouth last night, and even though he only went four and two-thirds innings, they still said he had really good stuff, especially with his heavy fastball. His off-speed was good as well, so they know that he can put it together. They just need to see him do it, and that's the other thing, too. If they see that you have the stuff, they also want to see you have a good performance. Maybe not a good year, but if they see you in spots doing well, seven innings here, six there, then they know that you can get it done in pro ball, and they want to see you advance that way. And that's the test for Jared Price tonight. It's his first start in a nine-inning game, and if he can go six, seven innings, they can see that he has the stuff and also the ability to go deep into a ball game, especially against a good Bourne Braves team. Game time set for 5.30, and the audio pregame is at 5.15. So in the great words of Vince Scully, pull up a chair and stick around for a while.